Mr. President, I would like to begin by thanking you, uh, President uh, Ahmed Mohammed Islam uh, Madobe, and your team for the warm welcome that we've received here in Kismayo today. I'm here with colleagues from different parts of the UN family in Somalia, the country director of the World Food Program, Cesar Arroyo, the representative to Somalia of UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency, Johan Sifwant, the representative of the World Health Organization, Dr. Mamuna Rahman Malik, and from the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, the Fisheries Coordinator for Somalia, Mr. Andrew Reed. And they represent only a subset of the 15 UN entities operating to support the people of Jubaland. We're very pleased to be in Kismayo today. It is the latest in our visits to the federal member states uh, at the beginning of 2021. We have come to discuss with the President and his team the work of the United Nations in support of Jubaland in 2021 and beyond. Among many programs, UN efforts include support for primary health and well-being, economic empowerment, and protection of the most vulnerable. I would like to share a few specific examples. The World Food Program has been working to strengthen the long-term resilience of communities in Jubaland against drought, flood, and other shocks. This development work includes livelihoods, food systems, and safety net programs. It builds on the well-established humanitarian portfolio in Jubaland, where it supports more than 400,000 food insecure people with urgent food relief, nutrition programs, and school meals. And there is a particular focus on the nutrition of mothers and young children. Another example uh, of the World Food Program's work right here in Kismayo is the rehabilitation of Kismayo Port. World Food Program uh, has removed the sunken wrecks of two ships that have long impeded access through the seaway. Clearing those wrecks will enable humanitarian logistics services through the port, but also offers a significant opportunity to improve port services for Jubaland's economy. The World Health Organization has been working closely with the Ministry of Health here in Jubaland and at the federal level to ensure that the people of Jubaland have better access to health care. This includes, of course, help with the response to COVID-19. But WHO in recent months has also been busy helping with mass immunization campaigns. These include three polio campaigns to reach around 300,000 children in 11 accessible districts. And in October last year, the World Health Organization also conducted a measles immunization campaign here in Kismayo, a hotspot for measles, vaccinating more than 56,000 children against the disease. The Food and Agriculture Organization has supported the development of the fishing industry. This support included the design and building